We're coming back to life because now we're going to talk about something far more interesting, and that is everyone's favorite show currently, Game of Thrones. Uh, let's actually start this way. Christian, what are your thoughts on yeah. last week's episode, season two, very, episode two very important of Game of Thrones? Episode. I think a lot happened. Uh, there were a lot of very key uh, character developments, which is uh, why, which is why Robbie probably didn't like it, with as it. you're seeing right here. Um, basically, Varys and Daenerys sort of had that showdown, and uh, with Varys, uh, like, kind of like being like, you know, I'm going to criticize you and call it as I see it. Which and Daenerys was like, Harry's. please do, and if you betray me, yeah. you, your head is mine. You know, that was very important, was important stuff there. Important stuff with um, Jon Snow. He got the letter um, from Daenerys and mm-hmm. is decided to go and meet her. So those two are finally going to meet. Um, uh, what was the other thing? The other mm-hmm. major thing, uh, or there's a couple, but um, Arya Stark uh, hears that Jon Snow is now king of king the, north, the north. So she yeah. is like, I'm going to go that way. Quick, instead quick, of quick thing, quick. straight up murdering Cersei. Quick thing. In that scene, he, she's talking to, what's his name? Hot, Hot Pie. Pie. Okay, Hot so Pie. quick fun fact. Oh, the actor that plays yes. Hot Pie has an actual bakery. Yeah. The actor. Oh, that's so great. And he makes dire wolf um, cookies. <laughs> that's amazing. And, and he says, where is, and he wait, says, where is his bakery? I believe it's New York. Uh, oh, and he also says, yeah, like, he has, like, John Doe's. Yes. Oh, that's uh, fantastic. I will also say uh, Hot Pie is a, uh, is a fun character, but when he said, like, Oh, I'm going to survive. I always stay safe. I'm just like you're. You're gonna die. You're dead. <laughs> you're dead. No. Not necessarily. He he hey, uh, brings food to the. Fifty bucks says kingdoms. the White Walkers get him first. Oh, he's. He chokes on the pie. There you go. And then I, I think the most important part of the episode clearly oh, though was yeah. um, was Sam Samuel performing the most sophisticated surgery I've ever seen. Oh. Where he. Uh, oh. Basically, such a great cut. Oh, punches. that was a yeah, wonderful was cut, but oh my god, it's it was like, disgusting. He's like puncher. He's, he's basically trying to. He's trying. He's researching he's a cure him. for um, what's his face? The grayscale. Grayscale yeah. and uh, for Jorah, and uh, it basically involves poking the stone parts until it becomes porridge. Well, and it hurts. I think he's actually pulling them off. And then yeah, yeah. So he breaks like, it and then takes some tweezers. It's like and, pulling on a scab. Yeah, but the but there's, there's like Plus. hundreds of scabs. On you, and it, they made her stone. Um, well, uh, that's definitely an important part, but I think the biggest part Ugh. of the episode was the very end, with, yeah, with the uh, sea battle, mm-hmm. with um, with uh, Euron kind of attacking his niece and nephew, mm-hmm. and uh, that whole battle. Two of the three Sand Sisters being killed, the other Sand Sister Sand and um, Sand Snake. Sorry, Sand Sister Sand Snake. Sorry, yes, that's okay. Sand Snake <laughs> uh, being captured, and then uh, what's her name? Oberon's. Um, I forget her name. Uh, not, not Oberyn. Sister? Oberon's the lady. That's not friend. Oberyn. Oberyn, you mean um, Oberyn? Oh my gosh! Why can't I think? The one who killed the mountain or who who died? Yeah, by but, mountain that, but was that, not Oberyn. It was. Yeah, Oberyn was his brother who used to. No, no, that was Oberyn. I'm pretty sure. <gasps> Fight. Unfortunately, I don't know names, so I cannot chime in. The guy, the viper. Think? The uh, the Viper's lady friend. There you go. Uh, that works. <laughs> awesome. And also, I'm captain. sad that I can't think of any names right now. And, uh, totally and, and, so, and so they've been cast. So, the, so basically, oh, Daenerys' uh, sea uh, sea contingent is uh, <laughs> yes, yeah. is gone. And Theon escaped, and showed he's still a coward. Yeah, he's Theon, still Theon ran he's like a little girl. Weak. To be fair, <laughs> think of it this way. And, and I, I don't know. Sorry, Ella. <laughs> but what I was going to say is that he had he tried to fight. Yeah, they both have been captured or head. dead. Yes. Now, yeah. Yara is captured, yes, but Theon gets to escape and possibly come back and do something about it. Um, will he? I don't know. He's a big old whiny baby coward. But Drake. Um, Who's he going to run into first? Well, I don't know. Is he going to go back to Dragonstone? That's a good question. Or is he going to run into Jon Snow on his way to Dragonstone? Or uh, and that will be a whole other oh, thing. And then kind of going um, to your prediction. But also, that. here's something that, and you were going to say something, sorry about that. No, I'm good. good. Okay. Um, here's another thing, though, is that think about this. Tyrion is the one, that was his plan. He gave that plan mm. to Daenerys. Yes. Now, does Daenerys say, why didn't you know? You should have known. I mean, they were, they didn't have that information. They didn't have all the information. Right. But yeah. is she going to blame him for the plan not working? Mm. Or is she going to say, all right, well, that sucks. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's figure out. The next move. What's going on next? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. one of the one of the biggest things that we haven't mentioned the um, opening titles the uh, opening oh, yes. titles yes. changed 
Uh, I don't have B-roll of it because uh, I forgot. <laughs> the biggest Imagine change... Imagine with your mind. As you know, when they... From season to season, episode to episode, they sometimes change where they show new locations or locations that are important to that episode. One of the things that they changed was actually the physical layout of one particular area, that being the Wall of Ice. Specifically, to the right of the Wall of Ice, which is the ocean, it's now frozen over. What's coming from the north? Frank and his merry good lucky <laughs> friends of doom. And the giants. So the speculation the is that East Watch by giants. the Sea, which is the castle, mm -hmm. the uh, Night's Watch castle that is at the edge of the world there uh, by the ocean, that is the end of the wall that ends, is that that has frozen now around that. And so the White Walkers and Frank and his army can come around the wall. So all of the spells and protections that are woven into the wall, which you know has I been know, built though. up over these thousands of years, well, they don't reach beyond the wall. They that are, seems like they a they really bad design them. flaw. I know, right? <laughs> come on. Design flaw. I mean, you know it's cold the when these people come. Brand um, the Builder. Well, hmm. qu question uh, uh, and quick clarification. Frank is the Night King. Yes. Yeah. Oh. We call him Frank for short because it's funnier. Yes. Yeah, so Night well, King you just do. doesn't Night roll. King always him makes Habib. me think of the Witch King Ringwraith, and that's a whole other oh, thing. Oh, Frank the Witch so, King. So, um, it's just a we little more also, rings there. We should also mention Melisandre uh, met up, has finally met up with uh, Daenerys. Daenerys. Yes. Oh, no, with her Lord of Light prophecy, and has told Melisandre about Jon Snow. Yes. And so it's like, you know, so that's, I think that's how, Specific that's why, for clarification, how Jon Snow even got the message. Specifically, right? what's his name? Azorula? Azor Ahai. Oh, Aziz Ansari. <laughs> Azor Ahai. Azor Ahai. <laughs> Azor Ahai. I like your, your Ahai. Better. Basically, the guy who d originally the, defeated the, yes, the White the, Walkers, Frank and his, his buddies, way back when, is going to be reborn. Some people Sorry. originally thought it was Stannis. Well, so uh, well, so Melisandre in the books there are many things. So actually, so you've got Stannis who kept who uh, Melisandre was touting as the the king Azor Ahai reborn. Um, you also have Beric Dondarrion who ha keeps being brought back to life by Thoros of Mir, who is another priest of Thoros is a priest of the the. Um, the red, uh, the, the king. The, sorry, not the king. The um, the one mm -hmm. god, yes. the whatever. This is sorry, Mikasa, yeah. Sukasa. Not as high as part of that religion. So, um, so you've got a few people that throughout the the books and throughout the series, people have said this might be it. There's also a theory I but read. But now John's come back to life. There's <laughs> also a theory I read. Right, and John, and John seems like the most likely candidate. Ordinaries. Those are the two big ones. But there was one I actually read that was interesting. Uh, that Jora could be the Lord of Light in mm. terms of, uh, and, and the theory went the, of being a, a, like a devout follower, of being strong-willed, of, mm. of surviving many exiles and, and trials and tribulations of grayscale and everything like that. Robbie's raising his hand. <laughs> I think we all kind of know who is gonna be the Lord of Light. Yeah. And I'm gonna mention it and I'm gonna put, throw a disclaimer. I'm not saying that this is a bad thing, I'm just saying, based on social norms and how the world is working currently. Is my mic all messed up? Yeah, a little bit. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, everybody. Is that better? A, a little bit. How do I sound now? You sound fine. You, sound okay. you want me to fix it? <laughs> no, it's okay. fine. So, <clears throat> to clarify, my disclaimer is, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying... He's also saying this is what he thinks. This is what I think. This is a Ravi Ramgopal exclusive. Oh. Yes, yeah, so go ahead. Does not represent the thoughts of I uh, believe Lizzo. I believe it's going to be Daenerys solely because the Lord of Light, it, by the title, is a very male-centric, male-driven title. And in the world that we live in currently, where there are, it, there is a lot of you know empowering of women, which I'm saying is fine. I'm not saying <laughs> it's a bad thing. Don't shoot me. Mostly because he's sitting right next to me, his wife. Who right. Wrote Kick him or punch I, I don't him think, think it's a bad <laughs> thing, but but my th my theory is HBO is gonna pick Daenerys, have her because that's kind of what everyone in Hollywood is doing. I'm right sure now. George R. R. Martin has told them who his Lord of Light is in the books. And can I? Can I? Can I? Can and they can took I, it and they threw it out. Can I? Could can be. I say something? Yes. yes. They're not going to veer that far off of George R. R. Martin's story. Yes. I honestly don't think that Daenerys is going to be considered the Lord of Light. Um, but she's. No, no, but it makes more sense for it to be Jon Snow. The only thing is, I don't know how much that's going to carry into it. 
because you've also got, aside from the whole Lord of Light and Melisandre, you've got all of this working for you here. We have, we have the, um, we have the three dragons, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the Targaryens who, the, the phrase, or the phrase has been always through, the, dra the, the dragon has three heads, right? Mm -hmm. um, you usually, and the last time that they brought these dragons into war, they had three riders. So we've got Daenerys, we've got Jon, because the rest of the world does not yet know that he's Targaryen. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm interested to see how Bran gets that news to everybody, uh, because last episode we didn't see Bran at all. Thank God. Um, oh, so yeah, I don't know, I'm ready for him to take freaking part in <laughs> something again. He's the worst character. He's always been my <laughs> least favorite in the books, even it's boring to read those chapters. I'm like, oh my God, it's a Bran I feel bad for the actor, because I actually kind of like, I, I think the actor does a good job. But, but. Um, so I don't know, I feel like there's gotta be some kind of balance or to the Lord of the Light thing and the Targaryen thing. The, and we need a third Targaryen, so I Tyrion. Mean, but he's not Targaryen at all. Wow. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you just saw, take a look at these other videos from this week's LuzoCast. You can find the full podcast on Facebook and iTunes. And for more nerdy goodness, subscribe to Luzo on YouTube and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.